In our study, we uh, investigated 999 Dutch colon cancer patients and we collected their tumor material and investigated uh, the role of COX-2 expression, PF3 kinase mutations and HLA class 1 expression, which is a protein on the cell surface of a tumor cell or every cell and elicits an immune reaction. And we, from these patients, we knew uh, the aspirin status and when they took the aspirin. So we selected the patients who took aspirin after diagnosis. In our study, we found there, that there was no association between COX-2 and PI3 kinase mutations and aspirin benefit. But we did see that patients with uh, tumors expressing HLA class 1 showed a better survival compared to patients expressing uh, loss of HLA class 1, which shows that HLA class 1 might possibly be a predictive biomarker for aspirin benefit. It's very easy and very cheap. You can uh, have a, a section of the tumor material, of the tumor block, and you stain it for, with a particular antibody against uh, HLA class 1, and then you have to look at under the microscope if, they, if the patient is expressing or the tumor is expressing HLA class 1 or not. In our uh, population uh, around two-thirds of the patients were expressing HLA class 1 and the other third was not expressing HLA class 1. We believe that uh, the me mechanism involved with HLA class 1 is the platelet tumor cell signaling because you, a tumor cell metastasizes through the bloodstream and there uh, uh, some interactions between platelets and tumor cells uh, cause a tumor cell to metastasize further. It needs signals. And we believe HLA class 1 might be uh, necessary for this platelet tumor cell signaling. There are a lot of um, mechanisms in the bloodstream involved for the tumor cell to metastasize further because some, some signals will say don't go any further but some signals will stimulate the tumor cell to metastasize further. The bottom line conclusions are that uh, low dose aspirin uh, influences the platelet tumor cell signaling and causes uh, has influence on the tumor cell to metastasize further. It's, it's too early to say that we should all give all patients aspirin. Uh, our results need to be validated in an independent cohort to see if this is really true. It's the same goes for PI3 kinase mutations or COX-2 because other studies found an as association with that. But we have shown with low dose asp aspirin that that pathway of PI3 kinase or COX-2 is not influenced, but it is on the platelets in the bloodstream. So it's too early to say, but we need further validation. I think we're going to test it in an independent cohort and we want to start a randomized controlled trial in the Netherlands. We are already starting it but we need funding and in the UK uh, trial is starting uh, right now. It's called the Ad Aspirin trial and I think the, those results are eagerly awaited before we can introduce aspirin as an adjuvant treatment.